I'm Alicia Hernandez with GSBA TV, and with me today is Samantha Furry. Sam Samantha, you just won the Superintendent of the Year Award, correct? Yes, yes indeed, yes. yes. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Thank you. Yeah. Could you tell us how, what steps you took in order to achieve this recognition? Sure. Um, first and foremost, I have an amazing, amazing school system team. Um, and, and we serve amazing students. And so um, having a strong board, having a strong, well-defined strategic plan with awesome team to be able to carry forward the mission of the system. And then, of course, I spent an enormous amount of time working with our students and, and encouraging them to be the very best that they can be. And our school system vision is that all of our students will be well-rounded and prepared for the future and everyone in our district from the Board of Education to our custodians and our school nutrition team and transportation team we all have that same motivation that we do everything in our power to serve our students so that they can be well-rounded and prepared for the future. Now during your speech you were surprised and you absolutely have, you surprised. received a surprise. Yes. Could you tell us about that? I am absolutely shocked um, to have been selected because I, I mean being named with Jeff Bearden, Norris Price and um, Mark Scott are they're just amazing people and then when you look around the state of Georgia and you see all of the magnificent superintendents um, who serve our students um, it was just a shock to have been um, identified as a superintendent of the year for the state um, and then of course I was further shocked that my nephew um, who served in the Air Force who was who showed up mm -hmm. um, he said he just got off the plane a few hours ago and then um, a few years ago um, we were real interested in my family and ancestry DNA mm -hmm. and we actually I did my DNA results and ultimately we discovered I discovered that I have a sister that I did not know about and she was here today too and shocked me as well so and then of course my mom my husband and my daughter and and having the support of my family um, because the superintendent's role is not a nine-to-five commitment it is 24 hours a day seven days a week um, in order to reach that vision and mission of our district, you have to be on call all of the time. And so having all of these people here today is just a, just a really special moment for me. All right, just having that support of the family Absolutely. as well. And we like those kinds of shocks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we like those surprises. Very positive things. So yeah. public education, how has that impacted your life? Um, well, I, I, my dad was in the military, so we traveled all over the world, and, and in most places I was in public schools and had um, some very um, remarkable teachers along the way, and, and I always wanted to be just like them, um, but bigger than that, I wanted to be, to be able to treat students the way that these wonderful teachers had taken care of me. Having gone from school to school as a military child, it was so comforting when you went into a classroom and you were accepted by the teacher and introduced to the other students in the classroom and so I, I've had a, a great career and have had many opportunities to do the same for many of our students so um, public education is the is the is the great equalizer among all of us and I'm I'm so grateful to play a, even a small role in pushing forward our agenda in public education so is, is there anything else that you would like our audience to know well, just that um, we, we have amazing school systems in, in Georgia. The Newton County school system in and of itself is remarkable and spectacular. But as you travel around the state and you get to see the, the different things that happen in the variety of school systems that we have in Georgia, it just makes me more confident in the future of our country, of, of our state, um, because we're preparing kids to take over as those of us who are aging out are stepping away from, from our roles. So, um, I would like to just congratulate all of our superintendents because I feel strongly that um, I represent them and, and they would represent me in the same seat as Curtis Jones did and Steve Barker and all of the superintendents who were superintendent of the year before me. Um, we, we just do a remarkable job in our state and, and our organizations help us make the difference in the lives of our kids. So I know during your speech you mentioned that when you became superintendent of Newton County Schools, they were still trying to recover from the recession, yes. correct? What are some of the achievements that you've accomplished during these years? Oh, well, we, we, we are still recovering from the recession. Um, our digest is still not even um, close to what it was um, prior to the recession. Um, we, we, our graduation rate is at 88%. When I, when I became superintendent, it was in the 60s, and so we've had a remarkable transition in graduation rate. Our, our achievement data um, with our national assessments has improved. Um, we've had kids, um, last year, our um, 
students who graduated from our high schools earned over 50 million dollars in scholarships, um, the highest we've ever had in our school system history. Um, we've our kids win competitions, and I mean just so so many remarkable things. Even on a a, um, a still a reduced budget, we're still making magic happen in our district. So, yeah. Well, congratulations Thank to you, you again, I appreciate it. and congratulations to Newton County. You guys have had a lot of achievements yes. as well. Yes. So, and thank you for being with us today. Absolutely, my pleasure. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you so much for watching.